images are critical to making your app fun to use, meaningful, and just something that you want to interact with. So how do you get images into your app with Xcode? In this lesson, I'm going to go over that. So here we have our Xcode interface from the last exercise where we did interaction with buttons. If you haven't done that, go and look in the description to this video, you'll find a link. Take that quick course, it is gonna get you so far. So let's get an image. First, we need an image to put into our app. I go to Unsplash as my default choice because the images are free under Creative Commons, they are beautiful and just work at a great resolution. So let's go and search for cats. Now I could choose any of these, I quite like this little guy with a butterfly on his nose, so go download that. That's now onto my computer. So to be legal, what we need to do is, well, is just copy this code to our clipboard. We're gonna come back to that in a few minutes and you'll see why that is so important. Let's go back into Xcode and we need to get our image into here. So open up Finder, go to Recent, actually go to Downloads, uh, wherever you saved it to, and there's the picture. I'm gonna take this and just drag it onto my app folder here. And this will give me this option. It says destination copy of needed. That means it takes the image from your download, copies it into Xcode. So you can go ahead and delete that original folder and everything is good. Leave it as create folder references and tick my first app by default or whatever your app's called. So click finish. And we'll see here that our picture is now in Xcode. Let's get this into our app. Click on storyboard. And when I'm doing this, I want you to watch the code on the right. You'll notice something very important about coding. Click here on the um, editions. So you want to get open up a library. And I'm looking for image view. This is a new kind of content. I'm just gonna drag this onto my screen. And what you'll see is that the code on the right has not changed. Now let's go, go a bit further. Let's just make this placeholder a bit larger. I want a nice big cat on my app, leaving space above for the label, which we covered in the last video. Again, if you haven't done that tutorial, go ahead, watch it. It's gonna help you out so much with coding. So click on here, let's get the image in. Open up our uh, control panel, drop down on the top, drop down for image and choose our photo. It's the only one at the top there in the project. And we have a cat nicely in our page. One thing you'll notice though, is that the content holder is larger than the image. That's because over here on the view content mode, we are on aspect fit, which means we'll increase the size of the image until either the sides or the top hit the image that will make some parts of the image just not quite fit. And I'll show you how that looks. If I just take the side in, make it smaller, the whole image is keeping fuller, but the aspect ratio is staying the same. Now, I don't really care about the aspect ratio, so I'm gonna drop down here and say aspect fill. And now the image is filling the whole of that placeholder. It'll do its best to put it wherever it can. I think that's the most common one. And again, look at the right. There's no coding around that. This is just an interface part. So you don't need to worry about doing code with images at this moment. Now, we do have things coming up later on where the images do work with coding. But for now, there we are. We can just click simulate. We can view this. And we've just got a nice app with a very beautiful cat at the front. And that's how you get images into your app. Now, there's one last thing to show you. I said copy that copyright information from earlier, and that's gonna be important. Now's that time. So when you have Creative Commons images, you've got to give attribution to whoever created the image and where it came from. It's just part of the game that gives us free images. If we were doing a release, we'd put that in the release notes and we do all the legal work. It can be hard to keep track of where you got all your images. So we're gonna use our coding to keep track of all the copyright information. Just go over here to the right, and we've got these double forward slashes. That just means ignore everything coming on. We can write whatever we like, it just gets stored as metadata effectively. We copied it, we paste. So we have a photo by a URL, Karina Vorozheva, 
I'm sure I said that wrong. And then we got where it came from on, on Unsplash. So we've got all the data we need. I know where that come from. And because it's got the double slashes, I don't need to worry about any of that code messing up anything. It's just gonna stay there on the page with my image. So I'm now gonna be able to attribute my images legally. Bit of an optional part. Is it really gonna make a difference to coding? Not really, but it's always good to do best practice as you code.